Hi everyone. I'm going to walk you through the basic mechanics of how Brawl works. Um, I don't have any deep strategy available to you, but this is just sort of uh, sh showing, you, um, showing you the mechanics of the game. Um, so this is the screen that you see. Um, you go in here um, to start the attacks. Um, now, I'm on the first day of, um, of Brawl today, so I've done some attacks, and then also I've been attacked, so I lost a little bit of uh, Renown, which is your scores. So I'm gonna go. This way, this you can see who attacks you. Um, I don't think it particularly matters. Most of it is random. Some of it is targeted. Um, and I'll get into the targeting in a minute. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do a regular attack first. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of food in my bank, but I'll show you just the basics. So I pre I'm pressing this March button. And then I attack. And it rolls and I get some sort of some sort of charge um, from that little uh, uh, rolly thing that came around. What's the th word I'm thinking of? Um, and then I get some renown, they lose some renown, and I get some stuff. And then you just do this over and over again. Now these flames that have appeared on the side of the screen, that's because an ambush is currently active. Um, and the person that I've rolled against um, is, is someone from the server that we're ambushing. Table the ambushing. Um, for now, I'm going to show you how it works. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do this again so you can see. This is a good example. This person is too strong for me to kill in one shot, so I have to attack them two times. And a way to get around that, which I will show you um, on, maybe not on this person. I'm looking for someone who's a little bit bigger, who I think I won't be able to kill in one shot. Um, but I'll do the last one, um, if not. All right, let's just do this person. Um, to guarantee a kill in one shot, I can use these crescent archers, this 30 out of 30 thing that's glowing in the right-hand corner. This is like a guaranteed kill all. I do that. They're done, and I keep on marching. Now, it takes a while for that to, um, to refill, um, so uh, you have to like roll it to get the, more, to get the archers. Um, a couple of times, but um, I usually save them until I'm coming up against somebody that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to hit in one turn. Okay, so that's how the uh, normal part of the brawl works, and um, when you are ambushing, and that's something that's a little bit different. So over here, I'm going to come on at the ambush, and uh, See, Garrick here has ambushed um, server 59. So I'm going to click on this. And I have um, every ambush produces three raid tokens. So this is one player from my server has ambushed another whole server. And now all of us get three raid free raid tokens. Um, and then I can pick a target. Here I'm probably just going to pick like the top person um, because why not? And I'm going to attack them but I need to use up some of my food. Ideally, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't be using any of my food. That's just, um, I'm doing that. I'm sacrificing myself for you guys so that I can show you how all this works. So here you see Tammy's a little bit too strong for me to kill all in one shot. Um, I should probably be attacking somebody who's a little bit lower, but I want to uh, help my, um, my server mate out and, and try to drag down this person's score. Um, so I'm gonna attack them, um, even though it takes up some of my extra attacks. And this would be a good time for me to, um, to use those crescent archers is during the raids because you're more likely to be attacking people um, who are particularly powerful. Um, now, I don't have any more um, raid scrolls at the moment. You can see that down at the bottom left, it says zero out of one next to those scrolls. Um, so I only had those three uh, free attempts um, that I just used. So that's about it. Um, and these ambush scrolls um, are super expensive. They only come if you have spent like hundreds of dollars in the game. So um, it's definitely worth coordinating with your server when you, uh, if you happen to be one of these high rollers that can afford one of those scrolls. I am not one of those people. Um, and, uh, and try to get everybody to attack all at the same time.
This is what the leaderboard looks like. Um, basically, the top five people um, claim these different sites, and those sites give everybody in the server a boost. Um, I think if I come over here, we can see with that 52, that green 52, I believe this will show me. Yes, so I have a sacred site buff bonus um, because of uh, Garrick, Wallace, and Ares, who are both from my server. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, the other things are the Crescent Store works the same as any other store at special events. Um, the Novice Explorer is just um, is my current rank, and uh, you work your way up um, in renown over time um, to get to higher place uh, to get to higher like Explorer rankings, and. Uh, oh, the, this this refresh round happens every four minutes. It's just uh, that's who that's when they like sort who you're up against. So they, that sorts who are in the sacred sites, and then also um, sorts of the difficulty of the opponents that you're coming up against. So some people play games with that refresh of trying to like make themselves very low and then spike right at the beginning of one of those rounds. Honestly, I haven't really bothered with that, but again. I have thought about zero minutes uh, about how to maximize the strategy on this. Um, and I think that's everything that I can think of right now. Um, so that's it. All right. Thanks, guys.